Hello and welcome to Bell Curve Gaming and today I'm bringing you a Doug Trio deck which is a great little budget build which just counters Pigaron beautifully and destroys Zoro Ninja decks and you know really it does pretty well against other matchups for what it is. So what does this Doug Trio do? Well he's got a 1NG attack which we like which is home ground 30 base damage but if you have a stadium card in play and that's important it's got to be your stadium card in play this attack does 60 more damage so that's a nice 90 damage attack. But of course, what stadium are we going to play? Well, that is the Martial Arts Dojo. I've been waiting for this card to be released so that way I could build my Doug Trio deck, which, you know, the attacks of non Ultra Beast Pokemon that have a basic fighting NG attached to them, they do 10 more damage. But if you're behind, it does 40 more damage. So obviously, that's 100 base, could be up to 130 base. But then we add on our Deancey and suddenly our numbers are really starting to climb. And if we're hitting weakness, it just kills Picaromps, kills those Zoro Ninjas. So it's a great little counter to those types of decks that, to be honest, doesn't do too bad against other decks as well. So the other big hefty GX decks like Reshizard, you're two-shotting, and that's what we're really going about. So how's this deck roll? Well, we've got the Doug Trios, obviously, which is a nice single energy attacker. On our Sledgehammer turn, we've got Buzzwell, because when we've, well, our opponent has exactly four prize cards remaining, which they're going to have at some stage, given that we're only a one prize card deck. Um, we get to use the Sledgehammer for 120, but obviously with Deancey, that's 140. Just note that this is an Ultra Beast, so it doesn't actually work with the Martial Arts Dojo, so that's just something you got to keep in mind while you're playing this deck. And then the rest of it's just about really setting ourselves up. So the Orangaroos for draw, Marsh Shadow to let loose, and we do love let loosing our opponent because we're pretty efficient in our attacks with just a one energy attack. Let loose and judges and getting our judges' whistles happening, it can win you the game just single handedly disrupting your opponent as much as we do there. So that's the deck list. Shall we begin? I think we shall. Hello, Renifrek, and welcome. Ah, Diglip and Ditto. I'll take the starting hand. Fair Lily, but not complaining at all. What have we got, Rayquaza again? No, this looks. No, it looks like Rayquaza, nearly. I mean, the Grass NG, what's that going to be paired up with? We'll grab a couple of cards. Pigarum. Wonder what the Rayquaza. Oh, it must be grass for the Rayquaza. You must have Rayquaza Pigarum or something like that. Something like that. Believe it or not, if we had Buzzwall in the active, we could actually get a cheeky KO. But oh well. We're fine with this. We're fine with this. Shimmy would probably want to attack with Rayquaza more than Pigarum if you've got him. That's what I'd be assuming. Attach that back line. Might as well get some shrine damage into that Pigarom on turn one here. Double Pigarom down. Triple Pigarom down. I don't know why he needs trip Pigarom, but oh well. Good for you. And Rayquaza. Alright, so what do we want? We want to go and get Deancey, I think. Oh, Deancey's not here. Well, that's devastating. Go and get a Rangaroo for now. I mean, he provides me extra draw later on. Dig in for a card, see what this is. I mean... I nearly rather just hold this hand. I've got what I need, and there's what else do I need right now? Another stadium, which I can go and dig for. I'm actually just gonna hold. I feel like I've got what I need right now. In hand. Plenty of shrine damage down back too. And sends a message to my opponent that maybe I'm a little bit bricked. Which clearly I'm not, but... <laughs> Candy. 
So here comes the Magnazone. Love to top deck a Guzma, I reckon. It'd be hilarious to take this thing out on a Guzma. Although, if I top deck a Guzma, I'd be going after that bigger one. <laughs> uh, what else would I be going after? Beautiful shrine damage. Chuck another Diglett down. Chuck Dark Trio down. Chuck an energy card to him. And then Cynthia out. Chuck Diglett. Chuck a Diglett. <laughs> and for the now, we don't want to evolve anyone. We just want to hold because you're probably setting up for your Tag Bolt GX. That's what I'm assuming. But we'll just home ground. Take out this Magnemite here. And get a prize card. Martial Arts Dojo. Beautiful. Beautiful. That's exactly what we want. So if you do tee off with the Tag Bolt, we are set to take out a lot of NGs out of the game. Plus three prize cards. Although we don't have the antsy, we'd need a choice band. We'd need the shrine to hold, actually. We actually need the shrine to hold. Because with martial arts, we're only hitting 100. <laughs> Believe it or not. So, the shrine does hold. Okay, we're fine with that. Might promote the ditto at this stage. Where are you going to attach? It's a big call. You do not want to attach to this bigger rum at the front. Trust me, dude. You do not want to attach to the bigger rum at the front. Yeah. Good call. Good call. So, ditto up front. We kind of want to save an Ultra Ball if I can possibly save one. But we kind of want to judge. And we're going to judge. Feeling, I'm feeling the judge play here. So, this is an Ultra Ball. It's for 90, which is 180. With the Shrines, 190. We need to put Martial Law. Uh... I kind of want to leave an Ultra Ball in deck so I can dig for Dugtrio. But I kind of want to guarantee an energy attachment here. We'll go that way. Go and get Doug Trio. Yep, that's fine. Doug Trio. Dojo. Instruct. Alright, so we're just going to judge. Got Choice Band. Which means I could have left the shrine if I knew that was coming. Want to hold these two. Want to hold these two. In fact, all three of them we do. Home ground. Smack them that bigger up. And take him down. <laughs> yeah, I... When I was building this, I really thought that this was just going to be like the biggest anti piggerom deck in the world. It can take out piggerom so easily. Hello, Anyard. And welcome. Alright, so dig. Uh, go down. Diglett, you're up. Get a nice hook in on turn one. <laughs> Alright. Lightning Grass. When it gets started. Damas, okay. Fortunately, you're going to one shot me on the next turn. And any damage I do to you is a waste of time. Assuming that you touch here. So, I've got to set up back lines, that's the key here. 
So we're going to Ultra Ball at the moment, get rid of Guzma and Liza. I'm going to go and get another Diglett down. Yep, sounds fun. So go Diglett down, we'll go Dojo down at the moment and Cynthia. So we've got a Shrine, we've got a Rengaru that we can play, another Diglett down. We'll nest ball, go and get Deancey at the same time because we're going to need him. Wish it was Shrine out there at the moment rather than the Martial Arts Dojo. I reckon you're pretty bricked because otherwise you would have played Supporter of some kind. Either that, or you have exactly what you want to get. That was a beautiful pull. So you're holding on to the Eric is waiting for me. It's unfortunate for me. Lele. Well, you can't play a supporter this turn, so that's fine. That dojo right now doesn't do me enough because it gets me in 120, so I'm two shotting anyway. So I'm better off with the shrine out there rather than the dojo. But I'm not really a fan of ousting my dojo just for that. Either. But the shrine could come in clutch for later, so the more turns of shrine, the better. Plus, it gets me a bigger pull with the lily. So I think that's what we've got to do here. So the first thing is we'll draw a cut, which is another nest ball. Uh, we'll add the shrine down. We're gonna burn the nest ball, I reckon. Although, no, nah, we won't just burn it. We'll go and pull Buzzwell in because we need him on the next turn. And we'll now Lily, uh, Arangaroo first. Never know what we might get. Fighting energy, that sounds fun. We'll Lily up. Get the Doug Trio. Which gives us a nice hit here. Not enough, but a nice hit. We've got the Buzzwell for the next turn. Do we want to let loose at the moment? Thinking not right now, we'll just home ground. Start smacking into this guy. Although if I didn't ask my stadium, that would have actually KO'd. I've got to remember that Dojo ups when I'm behind. So that was a misplay by me. That's something I've got to remember. So in my second game with the deck, so we're fine. <laughs> That so early game uh, mistakes that we're playing. Because that would have wiped out the Delmise. Would have set me up beautifully. Oh, we'll see how we go from here. So Rayquaz is hitting the board. So I'm feeling like we just got to take the Delmires out of here on the next turn. And probably goose them up the Rayquaz or after that. Maybe. So Buzzwell comes down. We've got to get rid of the Delmars. That's for sure. Let the Shrine do its business. We had Doug Trio down. We'll go Fighting Energy to you. Feeling like a Cynthia play here, just to build the cards up in my hand again. Go with Diglett down. We'll hold on to the Choice Band just at the moment. And just sledgehammer, get through Delmars. Which I should have done a while ago. I didn't just oust my shrine like I did. It's interesting that you're chucking the Lele up front. 
We should add a Guzma switch play here. That'd be lovely. Although, you have to get a nice hit off with the, uh, with the Lele on this one, potentially. It's unfortunate that Volkner's got here. Oh, so Vikavolt. But, tasty two prize cards Pokemon, that's what we like. I'm assuming that the Shaman will come in after this turn. That's what I'm assuming. Say up another Rayquaza. So I'm basically settling that you're going to be able to one shot whatever. It's just about where am I getting my prize cards. That's really all we're playing the game of now. It's just where am I getting these prize cards. So at the moment we go a trio down. We go a choice band to you. And I think we Cynthia here. See if we can dig around for Guzmas and stuff just so we can play around a little bit. Got another stadium, which is good, just in case he asked mine. Is there anything I really need for this nest ball? Uh, we'll get another ditto. Yeah, that's fine. We've got a stadium car just in case we need it. We'll judge his whistle. Two stadium cars, depending on which one I want. So right now, we're just going to sledgehammer. Take out this Lele. And believe it or not, pull ahead of the prize card race. Despite that early mistake. So Buzzwell finally goes down here. It's pretty I'll lose my uh, choice ban. You got attackers for days here. Really want to dig for that other Guzma again. So we're attacking him with what? Shrine here? Oh, sorry, attacking him with Dugtrio, which hits 110, 120, with the choice bounce 150, and the 10 back to me if you don't oust the shrine. You're gonna Guzma me? Get rid of Deancey. That's smart. That's smart. Smart move, but I still hit for 150 here. Oh no, you get off the... Nah, I don't hit for 150 anymore. I've got to chuck Dugtrio in. Let the shrine burn. Do we Guzma now? I kind of want to save the Guzma to go after that cheap prize card to finish the game more than anything else. I think what we do now is we dig. We've got stadium cards for days, don't we? One in the discard. We should have stadium cards for days. So we're gonna Ultra Ball here. Get rid of you. Maybe get rid of a switch. I'm thinking get rid of a switch. And we'll go and get Dugtrio. So there's our last three attackers. We're now going to shuffle. All we're digging for is a choice band here. Didn't find it, unfortunately. So I'm going to do some maths here. I'm doing 60 more. That makes it 70 more, which is 100. That's just not enough. This puts it under pressure, though. Maybe I should have kept the last hand for Guzma the Guzma side of things. So I've got two more turns to take the prize cards and I've got to find Guzma again. Desperately need to find the Guzma again. Escape rope. Uh, you can take Buzzwall if you want. That's fine. I mean you've just done it for me technically. If you can't oust that stadium. You've got to be able to oust the stadium, and you haven't been able to. 
Wow. Big call. Very big call. I don't think we want a Guzma or anything at all. We'll chuck an Oranguru down. We'll chuck an NG onto you. We'll just Lily up. Got the Choice Band, which is beautiful. And we'll now home ground. Smack into this guy. And there's one, well, two of the prize cards. We've got Guzma for game to finish as well. And if you can't oust the Shrine this turn, <laughs> and let loose me so I don't put a Shrine back, we've got the game. Got fantastic value out of the Shrine. I can't believe you haven't got a Stadium yet. Unless you discarded one when you played those Rayquazas. Nope. I mean, you have to find a stadium card, you have to let loose me, and you have to stop me from attack. I don't see a way out for you. <laughs> I really don't see a way out for you. What I've got to learn is I don't play, like, I've got to think about which stadium I need in at the time. I mean, you've still got to oust this shrine somehow. I'm not sure how you're going to do it. <laughs> Pretty confident that you can't do it. Hold on, you got that prize card. And now this guy goes down. <laughs> Doesn't even give me that, you must have just conceded. <laughs> Hello, Ice Dragon, and welcome. Ah, I really don't want Buzzwall as the first card I've got. Hmm. Well, at least Buzzwall can last a hit from Volcanion, I guess. That's a thing. Assuming you get four NGs in play, which I would have thought would have been an absolute given. Just an absolute given. Uh, what we're going to do here is... kind of want to be able to Guzma. We'll get rid of the Liza. We'll go and get Diglett. I know that right now you don't have another Pokemon, but surely you're getting another Pokemon in play. Surely that's a thing you're doing on the next turn. We'll chuck the NG onto you at the moment. We'll Lily up. Oh, I should have chucked onto you so I could hit in. Meh. Things happen. Um, we'll go with an S book. Go and get a Diglett. That sounds fun. And for the moment, we'll leave it. We could chuck the Ancy down. But we'll leave it. Hopefully, you play another Pokemon. That's what we're hoping for. I mean, the end of the day, you hit in for 50. And what would have I done, like, 50 damage into this Volcanion is like, that's like, meh, meh. Ah, there's a Rush's up. There's a Fire Energy onto it. Ah, come back. So this is where we want to Guzma up the Rush's up in this turn. Although we need a Stadium card. I don't need you with the stadium card. I need the stadium card. <laughs> this is bad. Because I could goose around the Rashes are, but I don't have a stadium card. I mean, it's hitting for with the choice band 60. Uh, Deancey makes it 80. With a stadium, it would be brilliant. Um, is 80 enough? Really? No, it's not. So, what we're doing instead is we're going to go with a judge play. We're going to just straight switch. It feels so bad to do this. So bad. With the potential that I had <laughs> of being able to hit into a Reshazard on that turn. It was so bad that I'm going to have to do this, but I don't have a stadium card in play, and we've got to go and find one at the end of the day, so we just have to switch into the Dugtrio. We'll chuck a choice band onto this guy. And we'll now judge. 
Did get a stadium. Got the stadium I wanted. The martial arts dojo. Good. And is there anything else? Like, do I really want to dig at the moment? Nah, we're, we're fine with what we've got, I feel. So, we're just going to home ground. Smack into the Volcanium. Attack out him. That's fun. Get ourselves a prize card. Ooh, the switch. Feeling like we're probably burning the switch more than anything else. The Dug Trio definitely goes down here. Then we're just busy working out how we're taking out our opponent <laughs> after this. So you don't get rid of the Stadium card, which is brilliant for me. So what we're going to do is we're going to go Diglett down. Probably Ultra Ball away the top deck and the switch. Yeah, we'll Ultra Ball away the top deck and the switch. And go and get ourselves a Dug Trio. And we'll then Dug Trio to the active. We'll Lily up. So we've got a Stadium in hand for the next turn. Because that's pretty important. Uh, we'll Ditto down. I feel like we NG onto you for the next turn. Don't want to stretch or anything at the moment. And we'll just home ground. Smack in. So that puts a fair ton of damage on that Reshazard. I'm going to have to get something else happening. Another Reshazard. That sounds fair. It's going to probably make me smack through two Reshazards in this game. So you pull ahead, then I'll pull ahead. <laughs> Feeling like what we do is probably chuck the shrine out now. More than anything else. Couple of fire engines. I mean, you could manually retreat, I guess, unless you've got a switch of some kind. Nah. So you're going to let me get the KO here. Okay. Mm -hmm. I don't like the martial arts dojo is better later than all than anything else and we might get value out of adding the shrine now now to try and start chipping you in so buzzwell down seal sledgehammer you don't need any help at all to get that off so we're gonna ng to the ditto then like how many attackers do i need i mean i've got two stretches in the game Could stretch them all back now. I'll just guarantee one. I need to guarantee one for the next turn. That's the key here. I think we stretch them all back because I just need the future protected. So we'll go double Dug Trio and a Diglett pack. We'll then Lily up. We did get into a Dug Trio, which is great for me. Although, probably shouldn't have played that down just yet. <laughs> when I think about it. And we don't have another Diglett. Oh well, we'll Sledgehammer. Smack into you. Get trip prize cards. Got a Let Loose. A Guzma. And an Ultra Ball. The reason why I said I shouldn't have played that yet, I need another Diglett down. And then hold them to a dig Dug Trio in hand, because if you Guzma me right now, I'm not doing enough damage after this, so... Which is bad for me. And it's going to be a long while before I'm behind in this game. A long while before I'm behind in this game. So Flare Strike, okay. So I kind of got away with that. A little bit. So we are getting value out of our shrine, thankfully. This turn we do need to go and get Diglett down. That's for sure. And I feel like Duke Diglett down is good here. Hmm. I'm feeling like I just leave it like this. Chuck an energy card onto you. I've got the cards in hand that I want. Another Diglett down would be nice, but I've got the hand cards in hand I want. I don't really want to ditch them, so we're just going to go home ground. Smack in. 
and just put pressure on him that he's going to have to get something on the next turn. Like, he has to get this Reshazard out in the next turn. Because otherwise I come home with another Doug Trio. Take Liza. So at least there's no Guzma action coming. I don't think he has anything. Nope, he doesn't have it. So that's Reshazard taken out. Taken care of. I'm pretty sure, let me do the maths. It's <laughs> 60 has 90, it's 100, 110. No, it's not quite there. I need a choice band still. So I need to continue digging and setting up. That's something I do need to continue doing. I'm just not quite there. 150, 160 on the way back. Wait, hang on. I've got Deancey I've got to cover for. So 60, 90, 110, 120, plus the shrine back to me. That's it. Yeah, we've got it. We've got it. And I have a feeling he's probably closed the app. <laughs> All right, dig it down. Let's just make sure of my maths before I do this. 60 plus the 30 is 90, 110, 120. Yep, we're there. So Doug Trio, down. And home ground. Smack in. And let the shrine do the rest. Good work, Doug Trio. Took down the current king of, uh, of the decks. Well played. Hello, someone who had a fit with the numpad. Welcome! <laughs> uh, Diglett, you're up. Well, we can either march out let loose or judge our opponent at this stage. Evolution deck. Of some description. Got a few basics to start. We'll chuck another Diggle down. We're fine with that. We can live with that. Zoro Ninja. Well, energy card to you. I'm really trying to fill this out. Do I want to Marsha to let loose or judge? I'm feeling more of a judgy mood. I'm feeling the double Diglets, the martial arts. Don't Let's judge. Let's just judge. Straight judge. We're fine with that. That'll play. That'll play. Well, Archibald. These two. Go and get ourselves an Orangery down. That's fun. Got the rescue stretcher sitting here for the next time. Instruct. Buzzwop. Which we can play down later. Pass it over. Got a nice stadium card just in case you asked that. Let's see if you can somehow pull off a beautiful KO on the Diglett. If you do, I'll be pissed. I'm not going to lie. I'll be absolutely pissed. Be devastated. Ah, uh, did Dene change? Oh, okay, okay. That sounds fair. Sounds fair. So you did have a nice out to that, but it does force you to burn some more resources. So that's good. That's good. we would be in trouble if uh, you don't start working something. So we got Martial Arts Dojo to get rid of that black market. So that's fine. Cynthia. Okay. You didn't draw too much there. By the looks of that. So it was a beautiful judge. Beautiful judge. Enjoyed the judge. I tell you what, the whole judge and Marsha let loose is set me up beautifully with this deck. It really is. We'll uh, buzz all down, we'll stretch her up. Our Doug Trio that we chucked in the old discard. And chuck her down. That is a devastating amount of damage already that we're delivering. And we can make it more. We do actually have to think about a little bit. A 90, 100 with that, it's not one shotting. 120 is not one shotting. 
or judge. Or judge. That's what we're going to do here. Play another judge. Judge. Choice Bandit does. Shrine of Punishment does as well, to be fair. But I've already played Stadium cards. That's unfortunate. Uh, so, energy card to you. Choice Band to you. And home ground. Bang! <laughs> 260 damage. And an auto fold. <laughs> Auto fold straight out. Oh, I love Doug Trio. Hello, Chief X Reef, and welcome to my mulligan. So, pure fire. It's probably maybe Lysaphalon. I don't know. At least we get to go first here. You do have Pokemon left to play. If you don't choose to put things down, I might choose to let loose you. I'm actually going to let loose you. If you want to play those little uh, fun games. We've got the let loose in there, I did see that. So we're fine just to go this, this. Alright, so Deanty and Buzzball's there, so that's fine. We'll whack Martial Arts Dojo, Choice Band, and we're gonna let loose. Draw a couple of cards first. Now the Orangaroo. Nah, just straight let loose. Maybe I should have held that. I mean, what else was I gonna play? Who knows? There's possibly something. I don't want to hold these. How are you getting the KO? I don't know. We'll see. See what you can do. Pass it over. Got the Lily for the next turn. Oh, hang on. I hadn't used a supporter. I had the Lily for this turn. I had a lovely pull of six there. Oh, well. <laughs> Here's what it is. He may think I'm just bricked. Who knows? Do you put it in your hand or put it in the bench? Put it on your bench. So a Slazzle. No, he's a Rush's Art build. Alright. At least we get the first hit on this Rush's Art. Really do wish I uh, <laughs> lilied in the last turn. I kind of needed that Lily. But anyway. It's a call for family. I think it could have slowed him down. He's probably thinking maybe you should have benched some Pokemon. <laughs> but anyway. We'd love to have Lilied set up and been out of Guzma on this turn. That would have been huge. We can still go for the Guzma, but then we need to Marangaroo and Engie. See, that's the thing. If I Lilied in the last turn, I'd be in such a better position right now. So much of a better position. But anyway, we'll just have to go with the Lily. And work it out later on, unfortunately. So we'll just Engie card to you. And for the moment, I think just hold. We'll just home ground. Smack into this land it here. See what he actually puts up. See if he uh, advances with the Rashes are. No, he doesn't. So, given that, I might have the Guzma play on the next turn anyway, which should be kind of nice. Got the Rose reveals happening now, so that's good for you. Interesting, you put on the back line, so I don't think you're playing to attack with this guy this turn. I mean, you could be. You could be with the Slazzle. So, Fire and Flint. Gets plenty of Engies. Gets you draw power. Hunting for a welder, maybe. I'm hoping that I can just smack into you first, because that first smack would be beautiful. We'd really be looking at an Ultra Ball into a Dug Trio. Volcanion's coming. Rose reveal. 
Look at that draw engine right now. So we we could just smack in here and try and take out the draw engine. I'm kind of liking the first smack on the Reshazard. Oh, you're going to Firestarter? Yeah, I'm kind of liking the first smack on the Reshazard because this guy's also going to be hard to take out. Wouldn't mind top decking a Doug Trio, just so I don't have to Ultra Ball for it. But we'll get rid of the Ultra Ball and the Orangaroo here. Yep, we're fine with that. Go and get ourselves a Doug Trio set. Doug Trio on. We'll nest ball right now and get the Ancies because we want to maximize damage here. Guzma up this Reshazard. Construct for one. What do I have sitting in this card? Oh, Rangaroo. Yeah, of course. Um, we can Guzma again next one if we need to. Just smack in. So it sets things up anyway. Fire Crystal. There's your draw engine again. Got a beautiful draw engine, that's for sure. Weld up. You only need to attach one energy to it, and you've got KOs for days. So it's interesting that you're attaching so many. Heat Factory. Got the uh, Martial Arts Dojo for that. Which will give me 120 base with the choice band that gets me there to 150. So that does get me the Reshazard here. Unless you can get a blower. What I need to find is my next attacker, which will be my um, Buzzwall. That's what I desperately need. Look at that hand you've got sitting there. Drop another Reshazard down. It's going to be tough. It's going to be tough. With all this draw that you've got. It's incredible. You're in a beautiful situation right now. In terms of the draw setup. Like your bench setup is amazing. And it's pretty imposing to me. <laughs> Got a lot of work to do to try and uh, try and take you down. So we do have the nice hit with Dugtrio here, which is good. And it's important. So we chuck that onto you. Feeling like I really... What I'm going to do... It's going to stretch her. I need to get the Diglett. That's for sure. We need to go an NG to the Diglett. Instruct. Don't want to get rid of Guzma. Really don't want to get rid of Guzma. But I also... I've got this... We'll leave it. We'll leave it. Home ground. Smack in. See what these three prize cards are. Because we got the Switch or Guzma to get to Buzzwell as well. So we've got options here. We do have options. Plus we got Judge. So the other Reshazard comes down. You think it'd easily have the KO here. Just pop the GX. Then I've got to be able to hit him and then chase him down again. So I'm feeling like this one is the buzzwall. This one is the buzzwall turn. Well, it has to be. It has to be. Can't be anything else. I need an NG card for that. Desperately need an NG card.
Take a look up front. Well, we have the top deck Doug Trio. Do I trust that I can draw an NG? There's plenty in deck. There is plenty in deck. We're going to get more value out of the shrine at the moment. Draw a cut. No, oh, not another Guzma. I need to set something up. So what we're going to do is we are going to take a gamble on it. I really don't want to be ditching both Guzmas to do this. But we need Buzzwop on this turn right now. We'll switch over to him. We've got two opportunities to try and get this energy. Get this energy, come on. Where's an energy card? Judge. Come on, energy card. There we go, there we go. Thank you. <laughs> right at the last moment we got that energy. So it's 120 on. So 120 damage on now. In fact, 140, because I've got the antsy. Plus the shrine. So I'm getting close. So it puts pressure back on you with what you're going to do with this Reshazard. Got a huge draw engine, but I did judge you to reduce that hand size again, which is good. Don't have any Guzmas left to go and chase though. It cost me all my Guzmas trying to do what I was doing there. But it does leave me with an appalling buzzwell that you've got to deal with now. I mean, the idea would be to hit into Dugtrio, I reckon, for you. You're going to run to the bench, that's smart. The game's over if you don't, so that's what you've got to do. But what I like about it is if you can't KO Buzzwell here, Buzzwell does have a KO straight back and I'm one, way, like one away. But you're probably playing max potions, you're probably digging for that now. Yeah, there's the max potion. Ouch. That hurts. That really hurts. Especially since I don't have Guzmas anymore. Really wish I just ultra balled the judge's whistle away. Really do wish that I just ultra balled that judge's whistle away. Instead. But we're digging for the NG. We need that NG. So, here's what it is. We just got to do what we've got to do and hope. Hope that we can land two shots on this Reshazard. Don't you have any NGs in deck ready to roll? It's a shame for you if you don't. We'll just go Lily Hip. Got a choice band which we'll hold in hand at the moment. We'll just sledgehammer. Smack through this Volcanion. Knowing that you'll have the KO back here. And then we're just after Doug Trios. So a couple of Doug Trios in the the old discard. So that means I've only got one left in deck somewhere that I've got to find out where it is. Interesting. I think you ran out of Engies. I think you ran out of gas. I think we got there. Got there with that Reshazard deck. Hello, Grey Factor, and welcome. Alright, so we go get it up front. Got Ninja Zoroark. Say NG to you. I'm going to Ultra Ball you two away. Go and get a Orangaroo down. Just so I've got extra draw power. I'm going to instruct here. Get a choice band onto you. We'll Cynthia now. Do you want a dojo down? I think we dojo down. And for now we'll hold. We won't let loose on the first turn. We could, 
And it could be like, absolutely devastating, but we won't. Darkrai. So you could get the first attack off here, which would be sad. If you had an NG switch, which you don't. So that's good for me. So we'll now NG down to you. And I think we'll just straight Cynthia. We don't want to shrine just at the moment. Fighting Dojo's fine. Oh no, shrine would have been better. Shrine would have been better. And it looks like I bricked up. We're going to put it from the discard into our hand, ready for the next turn, because... Yeah, we bricked up bad. And we just need to do it that way. Unfortunately. So that's this ditto gone. But hopefully, we can find our way into a Doug Trio. Seems to be that sometimes the game of this deck is can we actually find a Doug Trio? The upside is going down really activates that stadium, which is fine. Um, we don't want to Guzma. We're just going to straight judge here. Probably should have burnt the switch by. Yeah. The answer to that question is Negatore. We are not going to find the Guzma. So, we'll just hook and go for a two-shot instead. 140 damage even still, hitting for weakness. At least Buzzwall can hit in next turn. Black Marker Prism start, that's fine. I got the Martial Arts Dojo coming. Algebra. What annoys me about this though is I was an Ultra Ball or one of four Doug Trios away from actually getting rid of you and not letting you take so many prize cards. Now I have to deal with this Dark Rai business. So that is super annoying. Super annoying. Something that should not have happened. Well. Not much I can really do here. We'll go Fighting Dojo. We'll stretch up the Diglett. And... Go and Instruct. Got a Doug Trio, finally. <laughs> Without an energy this time. So Chama. So we have three cards. So I'm not sure if you're one-shotting me on this turn. That's the key. Grab that one. There's an NG. Good. And grab this one down here. And Diglett. Awesome. So we are starting to set up, finally. So we are hitting weakness. 120. That isn't enough. So we can switch retreat. Which I'm feeling like is the play. Oh no, we hit for weakness. We don't need to switch retreat. Because the fighting dojo, I'm hitting for 100, so we hit for weakness, we're fine. So, Doug Trio. Diglett. You get to save all those energies, unfortunately. It is what it is. Uh, we don't want a shrine, but we will switch and then Lily. So, Lily. And for the moment, we'll just home ground. Smash suit. And unfortunately this Buzzwell is a bit useless to me for the rest of this match, but oh well. Get rid of that Darkrai anyway. And Buzzwell did his job. He came through and smacked out that uh, uh, Ninja Zorak. So, so that's important. Oh, I love a Guzma right now. Oh well. Bad fangs. We do not have a Guzma. We do have our Diglett that we can go to. Um, which we will. There's a Doug Trio. We're going to have to judge here, I feel. Really feeling like we're going to have to go the whole judge route. Just because I need to try and set up another Doug Trio now. So we're going to chuck the judge back in hand. I don't like the fact that I'm giving you more cards, but 
Hopefully taking out these six NGs, that makes it tough for you anyway. So, hitting for 50, no, don't do enough. Um, so we're just gonna home grab. Smack out this Sharpedo. Get rid of those six NGs, knowing that a Sharpedo could come back in as well. Don't have a good attacker on the next turn. I mean, I can hit 100 damage onto you. But we do have a way to try and start setting up. All right. And it is time to rate this deck. So starting with damage here, damage is, we are really a two shot deck for the most part. I mean, we can get one shots on things like Blacephalons and Rayquazas and Tapuleles and Dedenes that might be sitting around the place if we're behind on the prize cards. Because home ground, 30 base, 60 more, that's 90 if you've got a stadium in play and that stadium is martial arts and you're behind. That's something is 130, then you add Deancey for 150 and then Choice Band for 180. But that's a lot of moving parts and a lot of situational. So yeah, we're a two-shot deck unless we're hitting for weakness. And for that reason, we're giving it a 7 out of 10. As for the defense, we do have a one prize card trade, which is a big tick for that. But we only have 90 HP with our Doug Trio, so we're just going down like flies. So yeah, the defense, one prize card trade. For that reason, we'll give it a 7 out of 10. As for reliability, we are a very efficient deck. The downside is we are a stage one deck that requires a stadium of ours in play to get the most out of its attacks. So it's a bit of a catch-22. I found, to be honest, that we could mar shadow and judge our opponent a lot and disrupt them because we were fairly efficient being able to maintain our consistency. So for that reason, we've got to give it a little bit higher. So we'll probably give it an 8 out of 10. But yeah, that judge and the Marsha let loose didn't really affect us too much and it was allowing us to get wins in situations where we probably wouldn't have otherwise got it. So that's a key to the deck as well. And for reliability, like I said, we'll give it an 8 out of 10. So overall, what do I think? Well, it's a great Reshazard matchup. It's a great Zoro Ninja matchup. And it can win against other big hefty decks as well, as long as you can get those two shots off. So the Reshazards and things like that. The type of deck you really don't want to come up against is good one prize card trade decks they can get you and probably um, damage spread damage spread just kills it so one prize card trades tricky because we've got a lot of moving parts to pull together for that and damage spread so yeah overall i'm giving it a seven and a half out of ten